Slipper Vic State Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. Longyao's mark is now being jumped, and he jumped 16 feet 4 inches. Oh. Alright, that jump was 14.11. The next jump was 7 feet 11 inches. Next is Matthew. The next jump was 9 feet and 2 inches. Right, the last javelin throw was 83 feet 4 inches. Right, that last javelin throw is 85 feet 3 inches. Ninety-five feet seven inches for that last jab throw. Last jump was ten feet. for math all. Kid kid jumping from Athol. So Long Yao is jumping uh, for Frontier. Great jump for uh, Long Yao. So he jumped 15, three and a half for that one. And next up, uh, you have Ian Burt. So Ian's on the run up. He jumps and lands in the pit. Fifteen six. Jump fifteen six. Um so throwing throwing for frontier you have Aiden Dredge. Doing his run up. And 
Throws it. So that was a foul because he stepped. So Alex Schreiber, oh, that was a good throw. <laughs> so uh, that was a 74, six inches. This is uh, Joe Grant for Athol. Nice toss there. 61, uh, five inches. So nec next up for Frontier for Javelin, you have uh, Jesse Kirkalonis. He's one of uh, Frontier's top Javelin throwers. And he just uh, came over from high jump, so. So Jesse, going to throw. Great toss there by uh, Jesse Kirk. One sixteen nine. Great toss for uh, Jesse. All right, and uh, for a triple jump, you have uh, Long Yao. He's one of uh, Frontier's top triple jumpers. He's on his run up. And a great jump there by uh, Long Yao. Um, 29-6. All right. Because that's a 28 board. And now jumping for uh, Frontier, you have Ian Burt. He's on his run-up. Jumps a little before the board. And that one looked like it hurt. So Andrew Garoppolo looks like he had a great jump for uh, Frontier. All right, and that was a great jump by uh, Athol. So now you have uh, for Frontier one of their uh, top jumpers, Long Yao Xiu. He's running up, jumps on the board. Great jump there by uh, Long Yao. 34 feet, wow, what a, what a jump by Long Yao. And now up you have uh, Ian Burt, up for Frontier. So now Ian Burt's on his run up. Jumps a little before the board. Great jump into the pit though. Thirty-four, eight and a half. What a jump. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Welcome to Frontier Boys uh, Track Senior Night. We're here at the Shot Put area. I'm Maddie Leone. Can't wait to see what the boys do. All right, looks like we're starting with Alex Wiseman, first thrower of the Jav flight. Nice put by him. Even. 
with a throw of 25 feet even. And that was Alex Wiseman for Athol. Next we have Alex Schreiber for Frontier, second thrower of the Jav flight. Solid put by Schreiber. For the throw of 24 feet, one and a half inches. Next, we have Joe Grant for Athol, third thrower of the Jav flight. Nice put by him. And that's Grant with 27 feet, 11 inches. Now we're going, now we're going back to the top of the Jav flight. Alex Wiseman for Athol. Now entering the circle. Another nice put by Wiseman. That'll be 26 feet and two inches. Next up we have Alex Schreiber, second in the Jav flight for Frontier. Nice put by Schreiber. And that's a put of 22 feet, nine and a half inches. We're about to start Jack Vassellio pole vaulting. He's gonna enter in at 13 feet and he'll go up from there. This will be his first jump and he'll have three jumps for each height. And each height goes up by three inches. Thirteen feet cleared by Vasselio on his first try. Just saw our last throw from Alex Wiseman for Athol. Now we're looking at Alex Schreiber for Frontier on his last throw. Nice put by Schreiber. That's 25 feet, three inches. And that was his best for today. Last putter in the jab flight, we have Joe Grant from Athol. And then the regular flight will begin. Last throw for Grant at 27 feet, 10 and a half. His best throw today was 27 feet, 11 inches. Now we're gonna see Julian Adams now. First thrower of the normal flight for Frontier.
That was 19 feet, 4 inches. Next we have Drake Wing from Athol, second thrower. Fourteen feet for wing. Now we're over at Vasilio pole vaulting. It looks to be thirteen three. And that's cleared. That was 26 feet 7 inches by Oliver Sackery for Frontier, a senior. Now we have Mahegan from Athol. Twenty-four feet nine inches for Mahegan, and now we have the last thrower of this flight, Jackie Fong, another senior for Frontier. That was 38 feet, 6 inches for senior Jackie Fong for Frontier. We're back at the top of the flight, second attempt. We're going to start with Julian Adams for Frontier. Nineteen feet five inches for Adams. Now we're back over at Vasilio pole vaulting. Looks like he's gonna go for thirteen six now. And that's cleared. This is Drake Wing from Athol. That is 15 feet even, second attempt. Now we have Zachary for Frontier. Nice put by him. That's 31 feet 9 inches. Up next is Mahegan for Athol. Still second attempt. And after Mahegan is Fong. Thirty-one feet three inches for Mahegan. We're now at Jackie Fong, last thrower, thrower of the second flight, and then we'll head into our third flight, last attempt.
Nice put by Fong. Thirty-eight feet, eight inches. We're now going into the last attempt for shot put. We're gonna start with Julian Adams, Drake Wing, and Zachary. Here we have Adams. Seventeen feet one inch for Julian Adams of Frontier. This is Drake Wing for Athol. Now we're back over at Vasilio pole vaulting. Looks like sounded like fourteen two for him to clear. Failed attempt by Vasilio to make it over. And he'll have two more attempts at this height to try and clear it. Back over at Shawput. 31-1 for senior Oliver Sackery. Next we have Mahegan for Athol. Remember these are the last throws. Twenty nine four for Mahegan of Athol. His best was thirty one feet three inches. And last at shop, but we have Jackie Fong, a senior and a captain for Frontier. Nice put by Fong. And that'll be 38 feet. Back over at Vasilio, second attempt for 14-2. After this, if he fails, he'll have one more attempt to clear. Looks like another run through Hello. by Vasilio. Uh, how are you, Tom? I am. He will have one more attempt after this <laughs> to clear 14 2. So, um, sure, are we doing this connect? I'll head over there. Okay, sounds great. What's this? Alrighty, and it looks like the score was for Frontier was Jackie Fong in first, Oliver Sacri in second and Mohegan for Athol in third. Let's sell you now. Last attempt.
And that was a failed attempt for Vassalio at 14-2. Vassalio's last clear was 14 even. He's not going for 14-2. He's had some trip ups that we've seen. So we're gonna hope he makes it over. Vasilio now making it, gonna make his attempt on 14-2. Throw of the pole. Well, it looks to be that pole vault is over. Jack Vasilio cleared. 14 feet today to make him the winner and sole participant in pole vault today. We're now gonna head over to the discus circle. Welcome back to Frontier Boys Track. I'm Adel Leone at the discus circle. Arguably one of the most fun events to watch. Warm-ups are happening right now and we'll get started in just a few minutes. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. All right. First flight. First attempt, we have Mr. Wing for Athol. Nice throw by Mr. Wing. With a throw of 29.5, that's wing again for Athol. And now we have Julian Adams for Frontier. That was a sector foul by Julian Adams for Frontier. You heard a gunshot, that was the 100 meter high hurdles starting. Nice throw for Athol's Mahegan. That was 74 feet, five inches. Now we have Alex Schreiber. In the circle. Nice throw by Schreiber. That was a throw of 66 feet, 11 inches. Next we have Grant for Athol. That was a throw of 83 feet, 8 feet, 
for Athol's Grant. Oliver Sack right now, senior for Frontier. Full spin by Sackery there. And that's gonna be a throw of 92 feet, two inches. Now we have Howard for Frontier. Nice throw. And that is a throw of 22 feet, four inches. All right, we have Fong, senior for Frontier in the circle. S full spin by Fong, and that'll be a sector foul. All right, wing for Athol now. That's a throw of 31-7. Nice throw for Julian Adams of Frontier. That's a 53 feet, five inches for Adams. Mahegan for Athol, now in the circle. This is 72 feet even for Mahegan of Athol. Schreiber now for Frontier. Uh -huh. Sixty-two feet five inches for Alex Schreiber of Frontier. Grant for Athol. It's a nice throw. Seventy-eight even. Oliver Sackery now. Up. Throw of 94 feet, four inches for Oliver Zachary. Howard now, second attempt. <laughs> 17 feet. For Howard, Jackie Fong now closing out second attempt, and then we'll start the last attempt with wing for Athol. And that'll be a throw of 97 feet, six inches. We're now entering our last attempt. We're gonna start with Athol's wing. Thirty four feet nine inches for wing. Last throw for Adams was 57 feet, five inches, and that was his best of today. Mahegan now for Athol, final attempt for him. Nine. 
71 even for Mahegan. His best of today was 74 feet, 5 inches. Alex Schreiber now. Nice throw by Schreiber. Throw 65 2. His best was 66 feet 11 inches. Grant now for Athol. Entering the circle for his final attempt. Seventy nine seven for Grant. His best today was eighty three feet eight inches. Oliver Sackery now. Oliver Sackery ninety one nine. His best was ninety four feet four inches. Second to last thrower, Howard. And that was a foul for Howard on his last throw. Jackie Fong now closing out the discus throws. Jackie's throw was 109 feet, 11 inches, and he is going to take first place, and that was also his best for today. Second place is going to be Oliver Sackery. Third place is going to be Grant from Athol. Field events are now over, and we're heading over to running. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Welcome to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, uh, Tom Albert, today. Um, and we have the 100 meter dash. So the first heat uh, in the 100, me 100 meters, the scoring heat. Um, first place gets five points, second place three points, and w third place uh, one place, or one point. So the official you get ready. Yep. 
initial ready. And bang, they're off. And it looks like up front you have a uh, kid from Afro, Michael, racing Dwight Balk and Jemai Griffin. And then in fourth place you have uh, Jack Storm. All right, so in first place you have Jemai for Frontier. Um, so you got five points there for the meet. You have uh, Dwight Balk in second place for uh, Frontier. And then uh, Michael Kutrasko, uh got third um, in the 100 meter dash. And next up you have uh, the second second heat of uh, the 100 meter dash and we'll see what they can do. Yeah. And they're off. So it looks like uh, Sam for Frontier is in first place. And then you have another Frontier and then the Apple, they're fighting for second place right there. They cross the line and then all Frontier, five, six, or four, five, six. So now we have the uh, third heat of the 100 meter dash. It looks like it's all Frontier in this one. Frontier really racing. That's uh, Adrian Frontier. And there we go. So that will conclude the uh, 100 meter dash, the three heats. And we will move on to the mile. And they, the mile is on way. So in first place, you have uh, Luke Howard, who's a seventh grader for Frontier. And then um, you have Athol, one of their runners, second. And then uh, Amory is in third. And Luke is really good for a uh, seventh grader. is really kicking it off. Um, as uh, if we come down the home stretch, that will finish up lap one. Luke Howard uh, still leading, and uh, he had a mile time or mile split of one lap, which is uh, one eighteen. That was really strong for a mile time. Next up, you have uh, Athol, Amory, for one of the frontiers. Luke is still leading the pack by a around a 50 meter margin. And then next up you have the Athol runner and Amory. Maximum. And then in fourth place you have uh, one of Frontier's young ones. Still leading the pack is uh, Luke Howard, as his teammates cheer him on. I'm 
And now crossing the uh, mile split. Um, they finish up with their second lap is the Athel runner, and right behind him is Amory. Oops. So uh, for the Athel runner and Amory, you had a uh, three minute. And then um, right behind them is still not too far behind is that uh, Frontier runner. Luke is now, he is now a uh, around 100 meter difference. He's very far in front of the pack. But um, Athol and Amory, followed up by Amory, they're still uh, still hanging in there. So, um, Luke is, uh, crossing the finish line, uh, well, his third, third lap, his time is, Luke, yeah, I'd get the lead runner, though. Oh. oh, he's got him. And then, uh, so, Athol, Amory looks like he may pass him on the turn as uh, Luke runs by us on his f fourth and final lap. Amory passes the, uh, the Athol runner. And uh, Luke is now at the 150 mark. He'll probably uh, kick in. Kicking in that last 150. And it looks like Frontier is right behind there. Luke's finishing up his 100 meter dash. Um, and it looks like Frontier may pass the Athol runner. Luke's finishing up. And he crosses the finish line. What a great run for him. Amory's going to kick it in. So, 33-2 uh, on the fourth lap. Amory's going to kick it in strong here. Lost 100 meter. And uh, Frontier passes the Athol runner. As Amory, Amory passes the finish line. And now... Frontier takes sweeps that event, um, and now Athol finishing up. So Athol was six fourteen um, seven. You had Luke Howard in first place, so he gets five points. In second place, you had Amory uh, Maximov or Max Maxovi, and then in third place. You had uh, another frontier runner. Um. So next up, we have the four by one. So Dwight Bulk, he is the uh, starter. Um. This is a fast time. Dwight's gonna hand it off to Long Yao XU. He takes off. He's the second leg. And then he'll be passing off to uh, Jack Storm. So great handoff. They made that. And now uh, Jack Storm will be handing it off to uh, Jemai Griffin who is the anchor leg for Frontier. And Jemai's really taking it off here. What a strong kick for Frontier. That was a great four by one relay. 
So the time for that 4 by one relay was 49 seconds and 49.3 seconds. And next up you have the 400 meter dash. And they are off to the races. Um... As uh, Patrick Boyden, or wait, no, that is, yeah, that is Patrick Boyden, leading the pack for Frontier. In second place, you have Ben Sacri, and um, in third place, you have an Athol runner. Patrick really having a strong 400-meter dash, still leading the pack. What a great run by uh, Patrick Boyden. And next up you have Ben Sacri, who he has very long strides. He's doing a great job too. And then uh, in third place you have the Athol runner. Athol having a very young team as they have um, a lot of sixth graders. Um, Two ninth graders, tenth grader, and a junior. Very small team to uh, Frontier, who has a very big team. It took that uh, the points. Patrick Boyden got uh, first place. 54. First place was 69.54 for Frontier. And then next up, you have Ben Sacri uh, in second place. And. Um, in third place, an Athol runner. Welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. And ne the next event will be the 400 meter hurdles. And it will be a solo runner by uh, Jack Vasilio. And he's off to the races. He'll destroy that hurdle. As he runs by us. Jack doing a great job getting over those hurdles. As the 400 hurl meter hurdles is one of the toughest events. Um, So he has two more hurdles to get over. Gets over the second to last. Gets over the last hurdle. Now he has just a sprint to the end of the finish line, and he does. So what a great job by uh, Frontier's Jack Facilio. He scored a time of 61.33. And next up, you have the 800-meter uh, dash, or 800-meter, which is two laps around the field, or around the track. And the 800 is off to the races. Leading the pack, you have Eric Brown. Next up, you have Ian Burt and Aiden Valrama. And then a pack of Frontier Runners. So Eric having a strong 100 meters. Aiden Valderrama passing. Ian Burt. So um, Eric Brown still leading the pack for Frontier. Um, and now in second place you have Aiden Valderrama. Third place Ian Burt. And then um, in fourth Mason. And... Five, six, seven is three frontier runners. So, Eric Brown having a really strong first lap. We'll see if we'll see if uh, he ran a 64 for the first lap, and then Aiden 
Valorama still in second. Mason crossing the fin finish line. And then three frontier young kids. Eric Brown running in an outstanding 800. In second place, you got uh, Aiden Valorama. And in third, Ian, we'll see uh, which one battles for second place. We'll see uh, what happens here. Eric Brown has a great margin of a lead. We'll see if he can keep it up. He's the last uh, 100 meters. Eric with the last 50 meters. And now Ian Burt and Aiden Valorama are off to the races. Ian looks like he's going to pass Aiden. What a great finish there by Ian Burt and Aiden. Two good teammates. So in first place, you had Eric Brown. Second, you had uh, Ian Burt. And third place, you had Aiden Valrama. And then a couple uh, frontier runners. You have uh, Mason. Who's he's going to cross the finish line. And then three frontier runners. We're going to see who wins it out as they are three young kids. And what a finish by uh, the lead runner there. Great job by uh, Frontier. Hi and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. We have after the 800 meter run, you have the uh, 200 meter dash, which in lane one you have Michael uh, Kutrakos. In uh, lane two, you have Jack Storm. Lane three, an Athol runner. Lane four, you have Dwight Balk. Lane five, uh, an Athol runner. In lane six, um, a Frontier runner. There's it. And they're off to the races. So leading the pack is uh, what it looks like Dwight Balk for Frontier. Next, you have uh, Athol runner Michael uh, Kutrakos. Is holding with him, holding his ground is Jack Storm. Dwight looks like he will take first. Michael take Kutrakos. He'll take uh, second, and in third, you'll have uh, Jack Storm, Frontier. They're having. They're doing second heat. Lane two, you'll have Frontier. Lane three, Athol. And lane uh, four, another Frontier runner. And they're off. So Frontier leading the pack in lane uh, lane four. Um, wow, what a strong 200 there by uh, one of Frontier's runners. What a great 200. That was a wonderful 200 meter dash by uh, Frontiers. Ian. Ian. And then in second place, you have an Athol runner. And in third, Frontier. Murphy. <laughs> and the two miles off. So you have a frontier runner, Amory, and and second uh, is Chris. So just two frontier runners. And then the uh, next up event is uh, the 4x4, which is, um, yeah. But this is uh, the two mile, which is eight laps around the track. Do I have to commentate over this? No. What, can you move this? Yeah. 
Hi and welcome back and we are on the last lap of the two mile for Amory. Chris still has uh, another two lap or lap and a half to go. So Amory with last 200. We'll see what uh, it's time will be. Last 150, so maybe he'll start his kick now. It looks like he does. He passes his fellow teammate Chris, who um, still has another 500 meters to go. Amory with a strong, strong kick to finish up his two mile. What a fin what a gr great performance by Amory. And boom. So Chris still has another lap to go. So now he has the last 100 meters to go as his teammates are cheering him on. He's doing a great job. And on a hot day too. What a finish by Chris. Finally kicks it in. Great job there. So Frontier taking that uh, event one two. Zathal does not have any many runners. Um, Amory will uh, come in first place. Second place, Chris, um, for the two mile. And now we have to finish off to conclude the meet is the uh, four by four relay. And it looks like the four by four is starting off. We have <laughs> we have Ian. Nope. Eric Brown starting the 4x4. Four four. This is a strong 4x4, four four, or strong 400. See, so he has the uh, last 200 to go. And Eric Brown is a uh, freshman for uh, Frontier. Or sophomore. Actually, he, sorry, he is a sophomore. And he's a very good runner for Frontier. He does uh, track and cross country. And he's great. So next up, we have Luke Howard. So they'll pass the baton off. Luke Howard, who is a 7th grader, he's a phenomenal runner, as hopefully he will stick with track and cross country for Frontier. So now he can move into lane one. Luke doing a great job on the second leg of the four by four relay. So now he has the last around 150 to go. Um, 400 is a cruel event, but it's a very good strong and uh, so Luke will finish up here as the last 100 and it looks like he will be passing it off to Aiden Valderrama who is a freshman for Frontier there we go and they get the baton off cleanly now uh, Aiden Valderrama will run for Frontier Strong 100 meter dash there. A strong first 100. Now he's on the second part of the 400. 
in doing a great job there. And now he will very strong 400 by him. By Aiden. Now he's the last 150 to go. He'll probably start his kick. Last uh, 100. And he will be passing it off to um, Ian Burt. Ian B Burt will be the anchor for Frontier. So Ian having a strong first 100. Now he's on the... To the... 200. Ian doing a great job. So uh, now he has the uh, last 150 to go. He'll start his kick to conclude the meet. And it looks like last 100 meter. He's really kicking it in for Frontier. Ian. He is also another freshman there. Um, what a great job, and his teammates will cheer him on. <laughs> what a strong finish for Frontier as they conclude the meet. So honestly, a great performance by uh, Frontier as uh, Athol had a very small team. Uh, so uh, I've been your host, uh, Tom Albert. Joined beside me was uh, Maddie Leon and uh, the FCAT crew. Uh, we will see you guys next time.